am for getting up. Today's a full body day. Let me show you today's outfit too. These aloe tearaway pants that I just got. They're in this like dark espresso color, I think. And then I'm wearing the Whitney sports bra in the unbleached color with these new Energy Seamless Biscotti Brown shorts and my space hippies, of course. This is the fit. I have my space hippies on. So cute. I'm gonna throw on those sweats and then we're gonna eat some food and head out. I have a little flat braid. I'm tired. Last workout of the week. We can do it. It's so cold in my house that I have to walk around like Hugh Hefner in my robe because JJ is asleep. workout I'm doing that day, how hungry I am. That's what dictates what my little breakfast or pre-workout snack is. So if I do legs, every time I do legs, I make sure that I eat a bowl of oatmeal, some fruit. Other times when I just have like full body or I'm doing like upper body and I don't need as much, I definitely always have fruit. Golden kiwi is my thing. I live for it. All right, I am at the gym and I'm taking my pre-workout. This is the Cherry Freeze. I bring my greens with me along with my other water bottle. And I put my pre-workout into my greens. When I dry scoop, it hits me faster. So putting it into water, which is the way that pre-workout is intended to be consumed. It takes just a little bit longer to hit me. So I have time to get inside, go to the locker room and then start getting warmed up before I'm just like buzzing. You guys, we have a lot to do today. I'm wanting to go to the hardware store. I'm wanting to do like a DIY project. A lot of stuff that I wanna share with you guys in this video. So hopefully you're ready to stick around for it. gym um and i went a little bit later than usual today never again it's 4 a.m it's 4 a.m that i'm getting up every single time it took longer to get ready today but i do not like that morning traffic and i actually like getting back home when it's still dark outside i had a really good workout it was full body which was interesting but my camera died and i forgot an extra sd card so i was filming my workout on my big camera so i had to use the sd card from this camera Delicioso. Yes. We have two kiwis, two eggs, bacon, toast, and I already ate a little bit of breakfast earlier before I went to the gym. So I feel like this will be a good little portion of a meal. So this is the fit. I don't know if I showed the fit in natural light. Skim super crop on. It's like sheer. So I have a bra on underneath. And then I have these aloe tearaway snap pants. And I'm like so shocked that they're actually my size and link. I have them linked in the description on my like to know it. And then I have my Converse, my chocolate ones. But we're going to go be handy women. It's time. I forgot to say I just finished reading for a little bit. I'm reading reminders of him and I love it so much so far. I'm going to finish it today. I started it yesterday, day before yesterday, and it's just so good. So I would definitely recommend. I got my supplies. I got like a trowel. I don't know. It's like a slitted little trowel, putty knife, two things of joint compound. And then I got spray paint because I'm not sure if I want to like actually paint it by hand or if I just want to have like a clear layer or like a soft layer on top since it's going to be white anyway. Over here I have all three of my little doohickeys, 24 by 36 inch. I have a tarp laid down and then I have a few supplies that I'll show you guys and I'm just going to work on this and I feel like the sun might go down so I'll update you guys tomorrow because I'm determined to finish it. AJ's learning how to vlog right now, so that's why he's holding the camera. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank Jesus you for your time. Loves me. Yes. so far. 
are. I just want it to have some type of texture and I feel like it does. Pink dries white and that's also why I got the white spray paint to put on top as like a top coat. but I've made some progress. I have my third one laying on the ground back there and it is drying, but the pink like color of all of the um, like spackle has dried white a little bit. It's still like very pink, but it's air drying. So I'm literally using my Dyson to dry it because I want to see the end result. store and it's freezing outside but I want to do a little grocery haul I don't think I've done one of these on my channel before I've shown like meals that I've made but I haven't given you a whole grocery haul I went to Sprouts and my total was like $115 but I did get a couple extra goodies Sprouts it has my heart I used to work there so I didn't get any meat or fish because I picked that up earlier this week, but I have two cartons of large organic eggs. I go through eggs like crazy, so does JJ. I have them every single breakfast. And then I just got some bread. I love these little Buffalo Ranch Lundberg rice cakes. They're so yummy. Got some mozzarella cheese, my golden kiwis, of course, some cotton candy grapes. These are so yummy. I love them just for a little snack, but they're just flavored rice cakes, basically. They're rice rollers, green beans, and some cauliflower florets, um, some organic baby spinach and arugula, mushrooms, celery, sweet potatoes, some bananas, lemons. I wanted to try these because I love orange flavored things and I don't know if it's the Johnny Pop or this one that Whitney gets, but I wanted to try the orange cream version. You'll see why. And then I also got the horchata one. I love me some horchata and I wanna try that. I know a lot of people have been telling me about this boba flavored like popsicle, but I'm just gonna have to wait on that one and use this instead. New honey and some avocados, some more tomatoes, yellow squash, Italian squash, AKA zucchini, cucumber, and then some golden potatoes. That's everything. And then I just got um, some organic rosehip seed oil. I use this on my face and it helps with my hyperpigmentation. And yeah. Next step is to put all of these goodies away and make some breakfast. Okay, we have my brekkie here. It looks so good. It's just avocado toast, some lemon, and then I also have spinach in my eggs on top. And on top of that, I just have some tomatoes and we're adding some balsamic glaze. So good. I feel like Sid right now. This is it. I did finish yesterday's little project. I was in the dining room and the light just like left. The sun went down so early. I went ahead and finished it myself and I hung them up. And I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not gonna lie. Like if you guys hate it, just don't tell me because I'm proud of it. And it was so much, like, it was a lot of fun and it was so much less expensive than if I were to have purchased, like, three actual, like, professional, quote, professional frames from somewhere. I know it's hard to see, but check out the texture. I think it's nice and it's subtle, especially in my very plain room. Half circle that I wiped off and then the center one. She has a little squiggle and just a bunch of texture. And then these are some ridges at the top. On this side, we have the other half circle. Well, I like them. I think they look really good. But um, the middle one has like a funky little moment going on with the wood on the middle one got warped or something. I just kind of stacked them from like higher to lower from right to left. I can't center things. I really thought I could. I was incorrect about that and that is just fine. I don't know, I'm like a DIY girl now. Also, I added little floating bookshelves or nightstands, I guess you could say. I love them, I got them from Ikea. It was like another little 
Handy Woman project that I took on. And I have all of my Colleen books in here. I'm finishing Reminders of Him. And that one's the one that just launched. I have Heart Bones here. I just need to finish that one. Layla, which I've heard really good things about. Confess, I've also heard really good things about that. All Your Perfects. This is a different cover, I guess. I don't know. I got this on Amazon. I went to the store and I saw it. And it was like a super cute cover. And then Regretting You. So, yeah. We have, we are book girls. Book ladies. I loved reading your guys' comments in my last vlog. Actually talking about all of these. I promise. I'm going to collect all of her books and everybody's like, you need to get a Kindle and I will get a Kindle, but I, there's something about having the physical copies of Miss Colleen makes me really happy. So I have my Colleen library. I also have all the books that I finished upstairs in my office already. You guys, I'm just living. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. You gotta live, laugh, love. I'm gonna do a little mini tattoo tour for you guys because... Y'all keep asking. I know you guys want to know about them. I know you guys see them all the time, but we're just going to run through them really quickly. Love that guy. Anyway, this one here on my quad, and it says, What's meant for me will not pass me by. If you already follow me, you already know the tea with that one. This one along my hip, and it says, If you're going through hell, keep going. Mom's handwriting. Because I was younger, my mom is a sick woman. We know this. Um, and my aunt had given my mom a little magnet that she stuck on our fridge and it was after one of my mom's surgeries. I just remember for years and years and years we had that magnet on our fridge. My mom is the strongest person I know. Absolute strongest person I know. I don't know how she does every single thing that she does in life but I am so envious and if my mom can get through what she's been through and what she still goes through. I can get through anything. That's why if you're going through hell, keep going is on my leg and it's in her handwriting because it's like for her. It's a quote by Winston Churchill. Yes, it's in a country song. I know that, but that's what it means to me and that's why I have it. I love my butterfly. I started getting the same tattoos done by the same guy and I have not turned back since. This is the only one that isn't like something so revolutionary, something that means so, so much. I genuinely love it and I feel like a butterfly just symbolizes a lot but this is more of like the artsier piece that I have for the good. I think this might've been, might've been my first one for the good. Romans 8, 28, 8 and 28 are my lucky numbers. All things come together or happen for the good. On this arm, I have little cross. It's very faint, but it is JJ's mom's birthday and death day. And she was super heavy in her faith. So I got that one for her. Um, she just means so much to both of us. I talk about her all the time. So I just have my little Pamela one right here. On my right, I have 1998. And that one is my birth year, of course. Also, I have my twin sister and I feel like 1998, so much happened that year. And that's the year we were adopted. That's the year we were born. That's the year that our life really began. So 98 is a very special time in our lives. And I have it in old English font. There you go. There, you can see them now. So this one says, expect nothing, appreciate everything. You guys go back and watch my very first vlog. I filmed it on my phone. Jim Jack had invited me out to be in a photo shoot for the Ultra Seamless campaign. And just in that video, I said, expect nothing, appreciate everything. And that just still stands true today. If you have no standards and you're not expecting anything great to happen, you'll be blown away by all of the opportunities and blessings that you do have. This baby, which I love this one so much. That one means so much to me. Um, a bad day is still a luxury. A bad day is still a luxury. I feel like I can talk about that in so many different ways, but it kind of resonates with everybody differently. This one's super special to me. One, because it's like, I said that out of my own mouth and it's just wild that it has impacted so many people. So many other people do have the same tattoo or they have the same phrase on their body and just makes me feel connected to the people that needed it or the people that it resonates with the most. My trademark, it's my merch. I don't know. If you actually sit down and think about a bad day still being a luxury, it's wild. I remember that I said this when I was on my story. It candidly came out when I was talking about how blessed we are. Even though we have difficult days and we go through a lot and everybody has a different circumstance, how lucky and how blessed we are to wake up and experience another day because so many people that have passed on, um, they don't get that opportunity. So I think it gives you a lot of perspective and understanding of how thankful how much of a luxury it is to actually see another day even if it's not the best day ever at least you got to wake up and you can try again tomorrow this was like my first tattoo you guys i don't 
I cover it all the time, but it literally looks like a sperm. Oh my goodness. I bought it with my ex-boyfriend because he wanted to get a tattoo. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a tattoo too. It was supposed to be a balloon. I don't know why it has no meaning whatsoever. We're so scarred from it than anything, but it looks like sperm. So love that. Last one is behind my ear, which I feel like you guys can see. I kind of like tattoos that other people have to point out to me that I don't really see myself all that often. It says sincerely Alexis. It's so botched, but I still love the meaning of it and I don't really want to get it like removed or anything. Sincerely Alexis because you guys know that I was adopted when I was three days old. My biological name was Alexis and this is kind of like me signing off that name. I actually had to get this redone two times. The man literally was like a drunk five-year-old, this older man and he forgot different letters even though it was a whole stencil so i cried about it and i was scarred from it oh my gosh and then i went back and another artist tried to fix it it's really not fixed but it is what it is i don't know i feel like everything after that is good because i started going to the same guy and he has done almost all of my new tattoos i have 10 which sounds like a lot but they're all very dainty they're small they all mean something to me and i feel like They've all like come around at a good place in my life or a good season and I like to be reminded of different things. I do have my next tattoo in my head. I actually want to draw out my next tattoo myself and I guess I'll tell you what it is. I want it to be a stack of books because every single time I explain like my story or kind of tell people about my life, they're like, you need to write a book. Honestly, true. So I would like to have a stack of books, but I want different pages of that book to be kind of placed all over my body does that make sense once i get it you guys will understand what i mean but i like that idea because i'm never done writing my story and my story is you know lifelong and hopefully it leaves a legacy eventually i hope that people are able to kind of like reflect on libby's book libby's life libby's chapters in her life because i feel like i've been through a few but there's so many chapters left that's what i want to get next but yeah those are all of my tattoos i have 10 but I feel like I don't have that many. I could go into detail, but just like surface level to show you guys, that's the tea. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog. I know it spanned a couple of days. My biggest project was these little babies here. So I hope you guys like them. If you don't, just don't tell me, okay? But thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me. And make sure that you guys keep up with me every single day on Instagram at Libby Christensen. And I will talk to you guys later.